Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I have the Z83 II mini Windows PC in front of me. But this is not Windows. This is Android x86 and I've installed it on the internal storage. Now before we get started, this is a little bit dangerous because these little boxes do have a little bit of support. We can get the operating system to reinstall Windows. But I don't recommend doing this yourself. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and sound do not work unless you have USB dongles. This is just a test. I wanted to see what this thing could do in Android, and I'm actually impressed with the performance. I will leave links so you can go and buy this box if you want to. As you can see, it's a Z83 II Android x86, 2GB of RAM. The CPU is an Intel Atom X5 Z8300 clocked at 1.4GHz, and it does turbo up to 1.9. The display is an Intel HD 400 clocked at 500 megahertz. It does support OpenGL ES 3.1. This box has been amazing for Windows. I mean, it's just a tiny, low-powered, cheap box. They're like 85 bucks, I believe. You got to get them shipped from China, but I'm telling you, if you're looking for a tiny PC, this is a pretty cool little box to mess around with. I ran some benchmarks and. We're going to test some games also. I ran in 2-2 twice. 63,527. Really not that bad. Let's go to ranking. Now if you guys have seen any of my videos on the Chinese Android TV boxes, they score anywhere from like 20,000 up to 40,000. This is way ahead. Samsung Galaxy Note scores an $80,644, but this is a $500 phone versus a $90 little TV box. I also ran 3D Mark, and since it does support OpenGL 3.1, I ran Slingshot. My device, 1,120. So what I'm going to do is just go to Best Devices, Slingshot Extreme, the NVIDIA Shield Android TV scores a close to 4,000. Scroll on down just a bit. So we're still way off from like the Apple iPhone 6S, but it's not that bad for a little TV box. Ice Storm Unlimited, 18,134. Best devices. So as you can see, this is the Microsoft Surface Pro 3, way up there. NVIDIA Shield, 45,000. But these are really expensive phones. If you go through here, even the Google Pixels in here at 27,000, close to 30. So these are benchmarks, and benchmarks are really cool, but let's see how this thing really performs. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna try Asphalt Extreme and Minecraft Pocket Edition in this video. And Tutu Video Tester would not launch. If I tried to, it'll just crash. That's a given. Some things just don't work in Android x86. Minecraft Pocket Edition. I'm using a Razer Serval Bluetooth controller, but I do have it hooked up with a wire right now. So I've already laid some dynamite down, some TNT. And the game runs very smooth on this little box here. Let's see how it handles this dynamite. Not bad at all. Really cool. So Minecraft is definitely playable. You can have fun with this. Let's back out of here and try Asphalt Extreme.
So, Asphalt Extreme runs very good on here also. I just wanted to give you guys a quick look. It is possible to run Android x86 on one of these little mini PCs. Like I said in the beginning, I would like to do a tutorial on it, but I don't want you guys bricking your units and then being mad at me. So, I mean, you could pretty much find out how to do this. It'll work just like any PC. Don't come complaining if you brick your unit, though. I really appreciate you guys watching. I'm going to be doing more testing with this little box. I want to run Linux on here and see how it performs. This little X5 is the same CPU that's in the upboard. Pretty much the same thing that's in the Latte Pan, and they do perform very well. Like always, thanks for watching.